If you love brownies even half as much as I do, but aren't so big on all those unhealthy ingredients, today's your lucky day. I'm going to show you a deliciously simple recipe for no-bake brownies that's so packed with whole food natural ingredients, you could get away with having brownies for breakfast. The base of these delicious brownies is going to be raw walnuts. I'm going to use a cup of raw walnuts, put them in the food processor, and grind them into a flour. You only need to have it on for just about a second. The walnuts grind very easily. Great, this is perfect. And so now, not only do the walnuts lend a beautiful flavor to the recipe, but they also give us omega-3 fatty acids and protein. Next, we have our dates, and these are going to be our sugar. So these are medjool dates, and I'm just splitting them open and taking out the pits. You're going to need about a cup of dates total. You just kind of want to pack it in a cup if you're going to measure it out. And so in this case, because these are nice large medjool dates, I only need about eight or so. And there we have eight. Great, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these one at a time and I'm going to put them in the food processor while it's running. So this is actually a really yummy treat just on its own, but these are brownies after all, so we still need to add our chocolate. So what I'm using is a raw cacao powder. This is the unheated source of all chocolate. It's filled with antioxidants has minerals like calcium, magnesium, iron, wonderful superfood. Now if you only have toasted cacao powder on hand, don't let that stop you from making this recipe. That will work too. I just like the raw chocolate better because it's a little bit healthier. So I'm going to put in about a half of a cup. Mm, this is going to taste so good. I can already smell the chocolate. And then I'm just going to add in a pinch of salt because the salt will actually help bring out some of the sweetness. And then we're going to run this guy one more time. And it's amazing because even though we're not actually baking the brownies, the whole kitchen smells like brownies. It's wonderful. Now consistency is really important here and this is just about perfect. You can see that when I take this dough and pinch it between my fingers, it holds its shape, which is exactly what we're looking for. If for some reason it just crumbles away and doesn't stick, that probably means your dates were too dry, and you're gonna wanna add in just a little bit of water, maybe about a tablespoon, maybe a little bit more, and just blend it up until it sticks. So I'm gonna put this into a pan, and because we're not baking it, it doesn't matter what pan you use. This is about an eight by eight inch pan, which seems to work well for the amount of dough that this makes. And I'm just going to spread this mixture out with my hand to kind of evenly coat the surface. All these nice little brownie crumbs everywhere. And then we're going to add in our last ingredient, which is raw chocolate cacao nibs. It's totally optional, but I like my brownies with a little bit of crunch. And since we already have walnuts as the base, I thought a little bit of extra chocolate couldn't hurt. And then I'm going to press this down just using my fingers into the pan to press together all of those little crumbs. And it forms this really nice brownie base. And after that's all pressed down, you just cut it into squares. Or you can also use cookie cutters. I know a lot of people also like to just simply skip the pan altogether and roll it into little brownie balls or bites. And after you're finished cutting these, we're done. Serve them up on a plate. You've got the quickest brownies in the world made from the best ingredients. Mm. Not to mention totally fudgy and fabulous. Mm.